Good morning, my two beasts, my TikTokers, and my Twitters. Sheila True Love. Today is February 6th, and it is Monday morning. And a fine Monday it's going to be. Today, what I would like to focus on is for us to give our brain a rest and give your brain a break. And I want you to focus on Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 this morning. Now when you don't trust and believe in Jesus the way that you should, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 shows that you will not enter into his rest. I know I need a rest. What about you? It is very, very exhausting living in this world today. So in order for us to enjoy this rest that Jesus offers us, we have to trust Jesus Christ. The easiest and the simplest way to trust him is to get your mind off your problems. Give your brain a break. Now, how do we learn to rest and give our brain a break? I can tell you to wait on the Lord and rest in him all day long. But that does no good if you do not know how to enter his rest. To enter his rest, you have to trust him. I believe the simplest, the easiest way to trust him is to give, get your mind off your problems. Like I said, you may think you can never do that, but guess what? Yes, you can. <clears throat> you do it by choosing to think about something else. It's just that simple. Sometimes... One of the best things you can do when you have a problem and seem to be unable to get it off your mind is simply go do something else. Go and do something. Call a friend, go to the grocery store, take a walk, change the oil in your car, watch a funny movie, read a book, or tackle a project that you've been working on or, or that you've been putting off doing. Or think about what are some of your hobbies? Invest your mental energy in something other than your problem. You'll find it difficult to trust in Jesus Christ if you talk about your problems excessively and all the time, because the more you talk about them, the more upset you will be. So turn your thoughts elsewhere. Give your brain a break. You will need, you'll, you'll certainly Find yourself better able to enjoy that rest that Jesus Christ offers all of us. Growing in the ability to trust in Jesus Christ and to walk in faith is a lifetime journey. It does not happen quickly. However, as we grow spiritually, as we grow stronger and stronger spiritually, we have to remind ourselves over and over again to cast our cares and cast our worries over to God, Jehovah God in prayer and cast our cares and our worries onto Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Don't be anxious for anything. You have to trust him in every single situation. And as you are diligent to do these things, you're going to find yourself resting in the Lord more and more. And that is where you're going to find your peace, your clarity, your wisdom, and the strength to face each and every day. So if you are worrying about your problems, give your brain a break. Go do something and get yourself off of your mind. Show Jesus Christ that you trust him by turning your problems over to him so that he can care for you and you can enter his rest. Yes, isn't that wonderful knowing that you have an option. You have to take your mind off of things. Go and do something else. Focus on something else. Like I have so many projects that I'm working on and I have hobbies and I, I'm a very, very busy lady. You know, I, um, I need some rest <laughs> to be quite honest. All right, my darlings. Now it's time for your Bible trivia questions. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. Wonderful. 
I missed my son this weekend because, you know, we usually spend Saturdays together. Well, Friday I go to his house and Saturday he comes to mine. But he was in Florida, living it up. <clears throat> anyway, your question is, which two disciples first followed Jesus? Which two? You can find that at Matthew chapter 4, verse 18. Your second question, what does Genesis mean? What does Genesis mean? Ah, I'm going to give you another question today. I'm feeling generous. What song did the angels sing to praise God at Jesus Christ's birth? What song did they sing? You can find that song at Luke Chapter 2, verse 14. How about that? <clears throat> As always, you already know that I love you, but guess who loves you so much more? Yeah, you already know. Jehovah God and his son, Jesus Christ. That's why Jehovah allowed his son to die in our behalf and for us. And that's why Jesus, he took it upon himself to sacrifice his life because he loves us so much. Have an amazing and a wonderful day.